Hello and welcome to another episode of Calculus Demystified. In this video, I'm working on a problem from chapter 2.1, Calculus 1 book. And this is the question. Find the equations of the two tangent lines to the graph of function f that pass through the indicated point. Uh, negative 1 and negative 2 is the indicated point. And the function itself is 2x plus x squared. Okay. So let me uh, graph the function for you here to see what is happening, OK? This is graph of the function f of x equals 2x plus x squared. And the indicated point is at negative 1 and negative 2. Negative 1 and negative 2, it's the indicated point. Let me write down the uh, coordinates associated with this point here. Negative 1, negative 2. Okay. So we are asked to identify the two possible tangent lines, one with positive slope, the other one with negative slope. If I uh, draw a line here that is going through this point, okay, so this is the tangent line, one tangent line, the other one is here, okay. So the first step, okay, so this is a line, this is a linear function. So the first step to uh, get the equation for the tangent line is to write the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And I have y, I have x. Maybe I can calculate m or a slope of the tangent line. So I can say, okay, uh, m equals y minus y1 divided by x minus x1. But there is no way for me to calculate slope using this formula because I don't know where on the graph the tangent line is uh, passing through, okay? But you know better than me that if I find the first derivative of the function f of x, that would give me the equation for the slope of the tangent line at any given point on that tangent line that is touching the graph. Okay? And we also know that every point on a graph has coordinates associated with it, and the x and y pair for that coordinate will solve the equation, the, relate, the related equation. Okay, so if we have a function here, f of x equals 2x plus x squared. So any uh, x I choose on this graph, on the graph of the function, okay, is a solution uh, to the uh, function equation. So, for example, if I choose a x value here, or here, or here, or here, okay, and I just name it x1, so f of x1 equals, okay, let me write it here for you, f of x1 equals 2x1 plus x1 squared, okay, so x1 is the solution to this function, okay? x is the solution to this function, so both of them are the same, okay? Okay, so let me tell you something. I can also say that y1 is f of x1, okay? So y1 is f of x1. So let, 
Okay, so let's plug in whatever we have to this formula in order to get to the equation for the uh, tangent line. Okay, so we have y as negative 2 minus y1. So instead of y1, I can put 2x1 plus x1 squared because y1 is nothing but f of x1 minus... 2x1 plus x1 squared equals m. m is the slope. Slope is the first derivative of the function. Okay, so the first derivative of the function is, okay, so f prime of x1 is 2 plus 2x1 okay so I can say I can write 2 plus 2x1 here instead of m and then times x that is negative 1 minus x1 so we need to do some algebra here uh, just distribute negative sign into the parentheses and FOIL on the other side. So if I do that, I'll end up with negative 2 minus 2x1 two minus x1 squared equals, okay, let's FOIL on the other side. That's negative 2 minus 2x1 two minus 2x1 minus 2x1 squared and let's bring everything to one side negative 2 minus 2x1 minus 2x1 minus 2x1 squared plus 2 plus 2x1 plus x1 squared uh, x1 squared is 0. So we have a lot of cancellation opportunities here. So negative 2 and positive 2 cancels each other. And negative 2x1 and negative 2x1 would give us uh, negative 4x1. Negative 4x1 plus 2x1. Okay, we're going to have a negative 2x1 here. And negative... 2x1x x squared plus x1x x squared give us um, negative x1 squared equals 0. Okay, so we can factor. When we factor, I can uh, factor x1 here, x1, so x1 inside the parentheses I can write, okay, negative 2 and negative x1 equals 0. So x1 is either 0 or, okay, let's see, negative 1 minus x1 is 0. Okay, negative 1 minus x1 is 0, so x1 is negative 2, okay? Because negative 2 minus minus 2 or minus negative 2 is uh, 0. It is actually negative 2 plus 2. So x1 is either 0 uh, or negative 2. Okay. And now that I have the x coordinates, I can go ahead and find the uh, y ones. So if I put x1 into the original function, Okay, I can get the, I can complete the coordinates associated with one point on one line. So let's write it this way. So I can say f of 0 equals 2 times 0 plus 0 to equals 0. 
and f of negative 2 equals 2 times negative 2 plus uh, negative 2 squared is uh, 0. Okay, so because 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, negative 4 plus negative 2 squared, okay, negative 4 plus 4 is 0, okay, so here uh, both of them are, okay, so we have identified one point on one line with the uh, coordinates 0 and 0, and the other point with the coordinates negative 2 and 0, okay? So if I uh, go back to the function graph, so I can see that, okay, so this is the point 0 and 0, and this is the point negative 2 and 0, okay? So, uh, I can go back to the uh, formula for finding the slope and plug in the y1 and y, x1 and x, and calculate the slope, positive slope for this line. And I can plug in uh, these coordinates of the points and find the slope for the line with a negative slope. Okay, so let's do that. So let me write it on another paper. So the line with a positive slope, so I can say that, okay, let's see, 0 minus negative 2 over 0 minus negative 1. Okay. So 0 minus negative 2 over 0 minus negative 1 is positive 2 here, positive 1 here. Okay, 2 is the slope for the tangent line. Okay, so you can see that from left to right, this line has a positive slope. Okay. And um, let me plug in the number for the coordinates value associated with each line, okay, to calculate the slope of the other line. So it's going to be uh, 0 minus negative 2 over negative 2 minus negative 1, okay? So 0 minus negative 2 over negative 2 minus negative 1, uh, that would be a positive 2 over negative 1, or actually, finally, negative 2 is the other slope. So, let's go back to the uh, linear function equation, y minus y1 equals m times uh, x minus x1, okay? Now, I can say that I have y value as negative 2. That's the uh, y coordinate associated with the indicated point outside of the graph. So negative 2 minus y1 equals 2 is the positive slope times uh, x coordinate of the indicated point outside of the graph. It is negative 1 minus x, okay, and then minus x1. So it's going to be negative y1 equals negative 2 minus uh, 2x1. And then bring the negative 2 here is going to be positive 2. Or we can say, okay, so okay, 2 and negative 2 cancels each other. And y1 is actually... Uh, 2x1. So we can disregard the uh, 1 subscript here 
and write the equation for the tangent line with positive slope as y equals to x. And we also can write the uh, equation for the other tangent line with negative slope using the same formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So the y value, the y coordinate for the indicated point, that is negative 2 minus y1. The slope is negative, negative 2. We know that the slope is negative. We already calculated this. Uh, times x, that was negative 1 minus x1. Okay? So negative y1 is negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2 plus 2x1 plus 2. 2 and 2 is 4. So negative y1 is 2x1 plus 4. Or y1 is negative 2x1 minus 4. We can disregard the 1 subscript here and write the equation for the tangent line with negative uh, slope as y equals negative 2x minus 4. Okay. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, just give us a thumb up and like the video and subscribe. Okay. Uh, See you soon.